In this video, I'm going to make a track that sounds like this. I'll show you what I did. Hey, Russell here, aka Bell and Circuit. So this time around, I sampled a noise rock record by a band from New York City, a post metal band from Germany, I believe, a lounge slash jazz record that I got some good bass lines off of, and then a funk record. Put them all together and you got something a little different than what I usually coming up with. It's more, uh, I don't know, electronica kind of, not really boom bap or trip hop or anything like that. Let me know what you think. I do this kind of video twice a month, two beats, two videos a month and just trying to inspire other people to make music. So I'd love to hear what you're doing. If, if this did inspire you or not, please like, share, subscribe, all that YouTube algorithm stuff. It really helps, appreciate it. Also this track and a free sample pack made with stuff from this session will be on my sample packs Bandcamp account link in the description. So let's go. Let's get into it. This also supports my theory that the third song on every funk album is a slow jam. New York City noise rock, baby. I gotta believe that the bass player was making stank face when he recorded that. So apart from bands not putting the speed of their records, uh, legibly and clearly, my other pet peeve is not showing what side it is and having to look at the runout grooves. Anyway, side A. Cool shit.
That sounds like right before they go to commercial at Charlie's Angels. what I was doing. The drums that I sampled off that noise rock record I was just trying to use as is and chopped them up on the timeline and they just sounded stiff and robotic and dumb. So I made my own kit and played in some shit. So we got kick, snare, another snare, hi-hat, open hi-hat. chops and so I did some stuff that was even simpler. I'll get it right here in a sec. Oh. 